Hello, today we're going to be making a simple github.io website. Um, and I should mention first that I have a set of instructions on how to do this on my blog. And I'll be basically uh, making sure the instructions are good and also um, making it so you guys have pictures to go to when you get lost. So the first thing we do is sign in or sign up for GitHub. Um, since I already have an account, I'm just going to sign in. So my username is San Diego Hearts. If I can spell that is. Um, and my email address is sandiegohearts at gmail.com. Um, okay. Um, since on this uh, GitHub username, I haven't made a repo, um, it's the same. The process of making a GitHub.io page is the same for just about every other repo. Um, so the first thing we do is we make a new repo. Um, your repo name should essentially be your GitHub username .github.io. So, okay. So, essentially, um, in the blog, um, the username um, I had was mglarnik. So, my repo name had to be mglarnik at uh, .github.io, um, and that's essential. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to have your little website. Okay. So I create uh, my repo, and you can initialize with the README if you want. You don't have to, and then create create repo. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is create an index on HTML file. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. If you're good with Git, you can clone the repo, um, and then make your file, then git add, git commit, and git push origin master. Um, or GitHub has a new feature where you can create a new file. So if you're not very good with the HTML and you just want something up on your website immediately, um, I have a hello world over here and on my blog that you can use. Um, I'll also be going through how to make a more complicated website. Um, so the file has to be named index.html and this is a pretty universal thing. So after I copy and paste this, I preview see what the file looks like. And then I'm going to commit new file. So um, you don't have to add a commit message for this. So added index.html. Uh, and then I commit new file. OK. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to our new website. It takes about 30 minutes um, for the website to be up. So this is not going to work. Oh, interesting. It came up very quickly. So for you, it may take about like 30 minutes usually, um, especially for more complicated websites. So if I were to have a more complicated index.html file, so let me just delete this really quickly. OK, I'm just deleting this. And I'm going to upload a more complicated index.html file. So now I have a nice uh, index.html file that I just coded, and I want to basically change it from the hello world that we had earlier into a more fancy website. If you don't understand the HTML on the right here, don't worry about it. Uh, we can go over it in a bit. So it's the same. You're going to update a website. You just upload files. And I should mention the next video is going to be going over uh, Git Basics, so we can do this from the command line. And there's a lot of good reasons to do proper version control. Um, what we're doing here is a little bit uh, hacky, but it works. And that's usually what people care about. So I'm uploading a new index.html file. And really, you should do a nice commit message. Um, but I don't want to distract you. And then commit changes. OK. So now if you, um, we now have our URL. Um, our github.io page, and we'll see if it's already done updating. So before we had hello world, and now um, I made a more complicated website with my San Diego heart team. Um, that basically just goes over coronary heart disease rates per 100k in San Diego. And it's a pretty complicated website, which is not the point of this video. Um, and, you know, hospital mortality, spending habits. Um, but the point is, if you want to make something more complicated, um, you can. You can just always uh, overwrite your previous index.html file and um, 
so forth in the future. So quick shout out to Disha, Ehab, Aresia, and AB uh, for designing this lovely website. Um, thank you. And if you have any questions, please remember to ask. I'm more than happy to help. Um, just leave a comment and I'll answer very quickly. Have a great one. And remember to subscribe. Bye.